Tom, welcome to Monaco. How are you finding it all? I'm having a great time. I'm here with all my brothers. Uh, we're, you know, supporting the drivers and, and enjoying ourselves. How would you describe the atmosphere here? It's something rather special, isn't it? To be honest, I've been to a lot of sporting events in my life and it's unlike anything I've ever been to. Like, it is electric. Everyone is so happy. I love the team sport aspect of this, play, of this sport. Um, so I'm really happy to be here and, and glad to, you know, be watching. And what kind of outcome are you hoping for today? Uh, Lewis is like, I'm a diehard Lewis fan, so I want him to somehow make it to the front. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Enjoy the race. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Sorry. Come and tell me about it. Hey, <laughs> Archie Orlando, welcome to Monaco. How are you finding it all? Oh my God, it's incredible. I'm overwhelmed. I don't really know what to say. I'm lost for words. It's incredible. Is this your first time at a race? First time at a race. First time in Monaco. It feels special. It really does. Well, how would you describe the atmosphere? Buzzing, electric, hectic in all the right ways. It's great. Thank you, Orlando. Bringing you in. You said you missed your calling in life. Do you wish you were in one of these cars? <laughs> It's, in many ways, I do love the, the feel the need for speed, so yeah. But I guess. What do you think makes Monaco so special as a place? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I haven't spent enough time here. But, but for the race? Uh, other than the race and the beauty, I mean, you know. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's just... This is the race of races, though, isn't it? Liam, 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 every time I see you, you're here in Monaco. What is it about this place that gets you coming back? It's slightly embarrassing, though. I'm like a piece of old furniture, an old... A F1 generator for the, for the car, I know it's very good. You know what keeps me coming back? Stuff like yesterday. The qualifying yesterday and I saw Jensen, I thought, is it just me here? How exciting was that? And Jen, I heard Jensen saying it's probably the, the most exciting quali qualifying he has ever seen. It was astonishing, I was screaming at the television. That final sector that, that Max pulled out was just astonishing. And I was watching, I was like that on the clock, I'm watching the car. It was amazing. Max down th three tenths going into the last section and pulls it out of the bag. I felt so sorry for Fernando. You are Mr. F1, I think. Yes, no, I love it. I, it's just, this is just, it is the jewel in the crown. And I know it's difficult to pass here, but there's just something ridiculously special about it. Beverly, welcome to Monaco. How are you finding it all? It's wonderful chaos. It's chaotically marvellous. Is this your first time at an F1 race? It's not, no. Um, I've had the privilege of going to Silverstone, British Grand Prix, a few times. But this is my first time being here and actually experiencing Monaco in all her glory. This is magnificent. Is this your first time at a Formula One race? Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. How would you describe the energy here? I mean, it's nuts. You know, we just did this movie called GT about GT3s and LMP2s and Le Mans and stuff. And even that, like, there's a certain, like, I, I don't know, beautiful violence to it. Just the sound of the cars and the smell of the rubber and the fuel. And, like, it feels, the asphalt, it feels angry, but, like, in a very beautiful way. So, I, I, you know, it's kind of energizing. It makes you feel, makes you feel like a man. Well, well we've, we've come into this as sort of novices to the game, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. we've spend been hanging time, out with Mercedes Bono, my man. man. Spend some time with the... Hello, mate, how you doing? All right. <laughs> We're part spend of the crew some, now. Spend you know some I mean? time with the Mercedes team. They, they're doing that for camera. Off camera, they hate us. Yeah. Have we learned anything? Yeah. We've learned there's another six or seven things that we're awful at. So that's yeah. been good, isn't it? And um, yeah, no, it's helped me to get comfortable in busy places. This reminds me of when I used to commute on the tube to work. Yeah. It's the busiest place I've ever been. Yeah. I'm yeah. never going to get annoyed at Clapham Junction again. I'll tell you that yeah. for nothing. But in all seriousness, though, for two people like us that are sort of casual fans, to see how dedicated the teams are and how everybody's just working to, to do something in this crazy surroundings. It has been pretty impressive, hasn't it? Yeah, and um, I need to learn to get my voice quieter because at the moment I'm going to go home and shout like my nan at a birthday party. Tom, welcome back to Monaco. I know this place is very special for you. What is it about Monaco that is so great for F1? There's something so amazing about it because it takes over the whole city, the principality, the energy, the vibe. We're out here for about a week prepping food, doing stuff, running the boats. And there's such an amazing, incredible electric energy. It's not just like visiting a track, you're visiting like a whole town that's built around this majestic, like historic, amazing race. So, you know, it's so incredible. The, there's such an electric energy that just buzzes, for, and it just keeps going, it doesn't end.